Hello friends, this is Low Rate Hitman. What I got here is a little drop zone on a map dome. I know, dome lord. This is my favorite map, by the way. I mean, this is like uh, Nuketown. I mean, I, I just love it. It's just major chaos all the time. I don't I don't think I do anything major this round. I think I go 44 and 6 or something like that. Lord knows I'm not going to get a mob, so I mean, that, that that's out of the equation. I, I don't ever foresee myself ever getting one of those. I mean, and it doesn't bother me one bit. But anyhow, I want to talk about, uh, I want to talk a little bit about just a mixture of things. Uh, Saturday, I had to take my boys to the airport uh, to go uh, visit their mom in California. And uh, I hate making that trip. I mean, it's it's about a two-hour drive up to Nashville, you know, which it's no big deal. I mean, it's just, I know that they're leaving and everything. And uh, the whole ride there is kind of quiet. I mean, uh, I mean, what what can you say? Yeah, and by the way, I did steal that person's Osprey Gunner. I mean, I am a care package thief. If you're going to leave it laying there, I'm going to take it. I mean, uh, <laughs> don't be leaving stuff laying around that you want to keep. I mean, seriously. But like I said, the drive up there was pretty quiet. I mean, it, it normally is every time we make that trip. And I know they're very excited. I mean, I would be excited, too. I mean, uh, I love them with all their heart, with all my heart and their heart, too. <laughs> Just as their mom loves them as well. I mean, uh. But when I got to Nashville, the airport, I mean, we got there at about, I guess, 5 in the morning. Their flight left at 6.30 in the morning. And uh, for some reason, every time I go to the airport, you might as well just plan on going an hour to an hour and a half early because you've got to check in. Uh, you got to go through security. And, I mean, security is just horrible, man. I mean, I'm standing there in line, and everybody that's going on a flight has to go through this security. And uh, there's probably 200 people standing in a... A gated area and there's more and more people coming in and uh, everybody just looks depressed they look scared you got this uh guy i don't know if he's a israeli or what but he's one of the tsa members and uh he's just screaming out you know if you got any liquids if you got any lotions anything you need to bring them out you know and these people are just tripping in line dude. and they're like well i don't i don't know i don't know you know and uh then you got to take your shoes off, of course, and you got to go through this machine, you know, that uh, x-rays your body. And so I, I finally get up into the line, and I get into position. I get in this machine, and they scan me, and then I have to step out of it and stand stand on this uh, mat or something like that. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you know? And then the TSA guy's like, uh, sir, uh, I need you to pull your pants up, and I need you to go through it one more time. And I look at him like, seriously? I'm like, okay, so... I go back through it, you know, and then I come back out and he shows me on the monitor. He says, see right here on your waistline, it's showing that you have something. And I'm like, man, you can pat me down, whatever. I don't care. I ain't got nothing, man. I'm dropping my kids off at the damn airport. I'm not even getting on the plane, you know. And uh, so, and then, and then my 10-year-old son, he starts laughing right in front of the TSA agent. And he's like, dad, they think you're a terrorist. I was like, oh my God, son, what are you trying to do to me? They're going to get me in some kind of room or something. They're going to try and do some kind of cavity search, you know, and that's not going to be good because they, they ain't doing shit. You hear me? They ain't doing no damn cavity search. <laughs> I was like, boy, you just need to shut the hell up, man. I feel bad I told my son that, but I, he started laughing anyhow because he knows how I play around. I'm not a hateful person. I'm... I try and be a loving and caring person, especially with my children, man. I'm not hateful to them whatsoever, even though sometimes they don't they don't agree with me on the things that I have to say to them or whatnot. But I, I want to say I fully understand, you know, the reason why the security is the way it is. I mean, you've got crazy people in this world. All you have to do is turn the news on, and you can. It's clear for everybody to see how crazy this world's gotten, you know. And uh, I feel a lot safer that they do stuff like that, especially with my kids traveling you know they travel a couple times a year on an airplane you know all the way to california and uh i'd rather it be like that than no the than i have to worry i mean i really do so the ride back by myself from the airport it was way worse than the ride up there i mean two hours by myself i was depressed you know i was I already shed my tears because my kids were leaving me for a little bit you know which i know they'll be back and you know i'll see them again it's just a a parent's love and if the only way that you ever understand is if you're a parent you know when I was growing up I thought some of the things that you know that my mom did or whatnot was mean and hateful or whatnot but now that I look back on it you know it really it, it's really out of love you know and uh, a parent's love there are bad parents out there you know and I feel sorry for anybody that has bad parents I really do I, 
I, I feel you. I really do. I hate it, you know, but a parent's love, you know, the only time you'll really know what it is is whenever you get it. Whenever you have children and you, whenever you get it. <laughs> whenever you actually procreate and you have children on your own, you know, and then you'll understand. You'll, 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 you'll feel all the emotions and the feelings that parents have for their children. And then, and then only then will you understand, you know, what people was talking about. But like I said, the ride back was, it was very quiet, very boring, you know, kind of emotional in a way. And then when I get home, you know, everything's quiet. I'm like, seriously? So I hop on to Modern Warfare 3. This is where this gameplay come from, you know. This has got some of my friends that I normally play with on here. And, uh, I mean, all night it was just quiet. You know, the things that I normally hear, I just don't hear them no more. You know, I'm like, wow, this is boring as hell. It's kind of giving me a, uh, the reality of what it's going to be like when they're grown up and they're gone, you know. But uh, I do have one thing. I have video games. <laughs> I may not have a woman in my life, a girlfriend or whatever, but I do have video games. And, uh... I do know that this month is going to go by very slow, and I'm glad that I do work, and I'm glad that I do have a hobby that I enjoy, and I'm, I'm glad that I have all you guys to interact with, especially on Twitter, and just uh, just a lot of my friends, I really do appreciate it so much, because uh, I can only imagine people that really don't have nobody in life, you know, they have to adapt to it, you know, they might enjoy that, but uh, me, I've always had somebody around me, you know, I've just never been, you know, alone or whatnot, and uh I really do appreciate the friends that I've got. I really do. I thank you. So over this next 30 days, more than likely, I'll probably put a video out a day unless I fall off into something, which I don't see that happening. You know, if I ain't fallen off into anything yet, I'm not going to fall off into anything in a month because my kids are gone. But uh, I will be pushing my 100th video here pretty soon, and I will be doing another giveaway. And you guys are probably thinking, oh, another giveaway. Oh, my goodness. You know, I don't know what it is. Maybe you guys can give me some ideas. You know, what would you like for me to give away? I'm not giving away a million dollars. I'm not giving away a $100. I mean, it's not going to be something big, you know. But just give me some ideas of something that you guys might want to try and win, you know, because it's, it is for you guys. I mean, uh, Lord knows I can't enter the contest. If I would, I wouldn't even give nothing away. You know, that kind of defeats the purpose. So after this video, uh, we probably got about 11 more videos, 10, 11 more videos, and then we'll hit that 100 mark, and that's when we'll do a giveaway. And uh, I'll mention it a couple more times throughout some more videos, you know, and give some ideas or whatever, you know. Maybe you guys can uh, help me out with this, you know. Hopefully, I'm hoping that some new games will come out because I'm so bored with all of these games. I'm bored with Modern Warfare 3. I don't even have no fun with it really anymore. I mean, uh, I enjoy doing the videos. I mean, if I find another game to do videos, I, I would do them, you know. I was gonna go to GameStop. I was gonna get some new games. I was like, man, there's nothing new to get, nothing at all. I mean, I, w I went to that uh, Trader place. I think I got that Dragon Age Origins too. I paid ten bucks for it, and uh, I might play that some. I had to hook up the Xbox. I might end up hooking the Xbox up. I don't know. I mean, I really do love the, the PS3. That is my uh, my favorite thing. I don't. I mean, they're both good systems. I just enjoy the PS3 a lot more. I mean, you'd have to play both of them to understand. I mean, everybody's got their own flavor. You know what I mean? But I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday morning, and I, I do appreciate you stopping by and checking out the video. I really do. And add me on Twitter. I mean, I'm on Twitter a lot and uh, interact with people. I mean, that's it's fun. I mean, if you got Twitter, add me. Please add me. And like I said, I appreciate you stopping by, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Monday morning. And thanks a lot.